Well, good morning from Athens. Morning. It's the nicest day we've had so far. It is. It is actually quite warm. So today we're not going to do much, are we? Maybe do a hop on, hop off bus, like a real tourist. Yeah. So we're doing the real tourist thing, a hop on, hop off, sightseeing open top bus tour. We've left the port and this one takes us to the Acropolis. Like I said, we're not going to go in probably because we are coming back to Athens probably later in the year. On a side note, I heard Athens is going to run down. What I've seen so far, it looks okay. For well, the first part of the open top bus tour, which takes you from the port to the Acropolis, isn't that picturesque? And you do go down the dual carriageway, or motorway. So it's quite cold on top of a bus. I think the journey is going to take from the port to the Acropolis is at least 35 minutes, maybe 45 with traffic. We're stuck in more Athens traffic. But I can see the first sign for the Acropolis. We must be getting closer. And look how busy the car park is. And don't forget, this is March. This isn't the height of summer. What do you think about bus trip? Were you cold? Well, considering you said to me, you don't need a card, you know, or, or a jacket or anything. Lucky I did, because I know not to I didn't know we were going to drive down the motorway, down the old carriageway. So what we're going to do, we're not going to go in the Acropolis, are we? No. Let's have a quick look. If you want to see the Acropolis, there's billions of videos out there on the Acropolis. We're going to go on a relaxing bus tour of the city. <laughs> and make a, I, I, the fancy, I fancy getting off where the guards are. They'll do that oh, really yes. slow march. Yeah. Should we do that instead? That sounds good. Can Hopefully, we have a cup of tea? Yeah. But the reason we're not going to go in as well as seeing a lot of ruins on this holiday is... I look at you all the time. Oh, cheeky. Cheek. <laughs> is we hope to come back to do uh, a Greek t uh, cruise. We may have mentioned it already, but we're hoping to come back just to a Greek island cruise starting from Athens. So we'll come back and see the Acropolis another day. We want a day. bit of downtown, don't we, I think? Yeah, so. yeah. It's quite hard work to tour and all that. I know it's like we're, we're privileged, but it's quite hard work touring all the ruins every day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sometimes you just want to relax. That's what I enjoyed a bit of transatlantic. Mm. You can really relax. Mm. Let's go and do the, the tour of the city and see if we can get off where the guards are. Anyway, it looks like the path and on has been finished. There's all scaffolding around it. Yeah. <laughs> Over 2,000 years and they still haven't finished it. So we've come off the bus now, it's quite busy, I can't imagine what it's like in the summer. We've stepped off the bus by the parliament buildings where they have the changing of the guards. I think they're called the air zones or something like that. So and it's really busy around here. I think they do the, the changing at on the hour, I'm not sure. So we're going to go back at one o'clock and take a look. So we've stopped the coffee not far from the Parliament building and the guards. Uh, anyway, Athens, I wouldn't recommend it in the summer. Like I said, I don't know if we saw people crossing the roads. They were dressed up like it was the middle of winter. It's really warm for us.
Could you do that walk mount, that march? No. Could not. It's amazing what they did, wasn't it? All the mm. the yeah. different steps. Imagine standing there in the height of summer doing that. The centre of Athens isn't particularly pedestrian friendly. There are these massive wide roads that are really busy. So we're back at the Acropolis. We have to change buses to get back to the port. So it must be hell to do this in the summer. There's, you know, people changing buses. And there's only one cruise ship in. Imagine when there's four or five. There's not a lot of spaces for the buses, actually, is there? No, the, the area of Annie is full of buses isn't brilliant, so... So everyone's trying to reboot, all the big buses are trying to reboot yeah. us to go back and not hit each other. So if you come during the summer, I would recommend getting a private tour of a very small group. I would recommend the open top. But it's okay buses. now. It's okay now, off-season. It's busy, but you can get yeah. seats. But the main thing... We've got the front of the bus. I may head to London. Front of the bus. Bus stop terminal B, Sun Princess. Okay, time to get back on board. So that was Athens then, tick. <laughs> oh, that sounds awful, doesn't it? Like I said before, these just give you a taster, don't they? Yeah, they do. Yeah. yeah and, you know, if you, if you really like a certain port, come back on a, on a holiday that's not a cruise and explore it more, isn't it? Mm. There's a little shop in the port, but nothing's got the prices on. Hello. I got stopped coming back through customs then. I beeped and I had the most intimate search I've had for a long time. It was really going for it. It was really going for my back, down my trou down the back of my trousers. What did you have? A thrill. <laughs> I think they're gonna try some of the pizza or the tacos look interesting. The only problem with the taco place, the queue isn't that long, but the bloke at the front just went and asked like six chicken tacos. Mel's going for the classic burger. Uh, with with um, like fries. Okay, fries is fine. Have a slice of margarita. Oh, the, the crust is a bit burnt. I'll take it off, but the rest of it looks okay. It does taste so carefully. I'll go with the cheese, but my sauce is nice. The only problem with this spot, our oh, Mel's brought me a beer. The only problem with this spot we're sitting in, we've got somebody on their phone now, right? And they're screaming too. Our oh, Mel's food's arrived. <laughs> Nice burger. Food, yeah, and the lines are bar, the lines are deck. Seems, yeah, it's, seems it's, pretty good. It's fast food. It's fast food, yeah. Uh, but, but the, the food in the buffet, I think, is good. The, and the food in the main dining room is far superior to um, P&O. Sorry, yeah. P&O fans, but are, it is yeah, far pay, superior. But you are paying more for this cruise ship, that's the thing. Yeah, but it wasn't that ridiculous price, was it really? So we're going to round off the afternoon with the beer Mel bought me by the pool. Not too bad, it's quite warm, but the, the wind is still a bit chilly. No one's in the actual pool, there are people in the hot tubs. We've had a relaxing afternoon, haven't we? 
I fell asleep watching TV and I was doing work. I tried to resist strangling him in the night. So tonight we're going to go down. <laughs> it's quite late, isn't it? It's quarter to eight. Mm. We're going to watch The Comedian. Is it going to be any good? And then what are we going to do? Food. Food, don't know, yeah. Don't know where we're going to go yet. Reserve, maybe. So again, I'm, take, I'm on the phone at the moment. I'm taking the phone because it's less, uh, mm -hmm. it's more discreet. And it, we'll see what we end up doing tonight. Yes. Like I said, there's not a lot of choice because the main shows aren't on, mm. but there's a new comedian on tonight. And so there's because, a new singer. We better get down because yeah, that can be yeah. busy. Come and on, Mel's, Mel's got a homemade vodka and orange. Shh, don't tell anybody. We smuggled the vodka on board. Shh. And fortunately, because the main theatre was closed, the live lounge of the comedian was packed. Went 20 minutes early we could get a seat but across the road we went to O'Malley's bar and that was good fun for half an hour we saw these dinner in the reserve restaurant. See you there. We finally got to the reserve dining. My salad's arrived and Mel goes to me, why are you filming your salad? Which is a good point. No one wants to see a salad. You don't make friends with salad. You don't make friends with salad. So my main course has arrived. It's a turkey in breadcrumbs that comes with chips. I didn't know it came with chips. <laughs> What's that, Mel? Oh, something a five-year-old would eat. A five-year-old would eat that. Oh, shut up. Yeah, we've got turkey cookies <laughs> and chips. Looks nice, though. Oh, it's got pork chops. It was covered with mash, but Mel hates mash. So you've got a baked potato. What's the stuff on top? Apple? Is that an apple? No, I think it's like an apple sauce. Apple gravy and then some caramelised onions. So I'll probably okay, that off. Okay. <laughs> on this ship, they've got a habit of putting salt and pepper in the wrong way round. What do you think that is? That should be salt. Mm. Check it. Pepper. It's pepper. They keep putting pepper in the single hole. That's not right. Pepper should be in that one. It was a good night tonight. It was a good night. Despite the fact there's no main shows on. We had a, the comedians on the ship have been good. really good. Yeah. Kevin Jordan, we just saw. And who was the other one we saw? But both of them were good, you know, they were, they were worse. there's a fine line between, you know, you're playing to a crowd that don't know you, mixed ages and stuff like that, but they, they, man like... they managed to get it pretty spot on, yeah. that was good, yeah. and we had a good meal in the reserve restaurant, yes we did, and really went, good dessert, went to the yeah. Irish bar, we did basically everything that was open, wasn't it? We didn't do the singer in the piazza. No, but she sounded okay. Marcus doesn't like singers to sing, so that's quite... Yeah, <laughs> that's quite as in of my favourite singers, Bob like Dylan. Bob Dylan, Neil Young, People that can't sing. Nick Cave. <laughs> so I'm not a fan of singers that can sing. <laughs> Mel's birthday's coming up. What have you got? I know. Have you got me a present for my birthday? Is it a squash chocolate orange? <laughs> it's like this? Alan Partridge. <laughs> It's okay, but it's slightly, slightly damaged on the left corner. <laughs> no <laughs> refunds. Well, good morning from somewhere in the Aegean Sea. A very wet Aegean. We're leaving Greece, heading over towards Sicily. And it's a sea day. Look at that rain. So we're about to go for breakfast in the buffet again and then we're going to the piazza area for a paper plane competition. Yes, a paper plane competition. It's all excitement on this ship. I used to be able to make a good paper plane when I was a kid. I wonder if I still can. Is that bright sky over there? I don't know, what do you think?
So we're in the buffet. It's the busiest I've seen it. I think because it's a sea day and it's raining outside, so people can't use outdoor tables. But saying that, we still managed to get a table and they're really quick at clearing up the mess as well. Well, it's a healthy start to breakfast. The good intentions, orange juice, fruit and black tea. But I wonder how long that'll last. Look at the carnage grease on my plate. One thing, I'm not a fan of the bacon. It's streaky American bacon, but not as nice and crisp as the Americans do it. What did you have, Mel? I had a bagel. A bagel? With cheese and bacon. Okay. Salad. What's the cheese and bacon bagel like? Okay. It's like a bacon again. Shall we go to that thing now? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I've drunk your juice yet. So we got our three sheets of paper for our paper plane channel. Two of those sheets to the side. So we got there. That might keep it more stable, but I think that one would be mostly down to your throat. Hey, how are we doing? Yeah. Have you got that? That's okay. Have you got some plates? Yeah, that's okay. Marcus is very proud of this plane. So if you make it through your paper airplane down to the runway and through that flying ring at the end, you will come over here into the winner's circle. Marcus, Marcus from Wales. Marcus from Wales? Yeah. Anyone else Just from Wales? Is this your, is this your partner? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I was going to say, I didn't know if she was just recording you creepily or what. Is this for Facebook? YouTube. We're on last Facebook, everybody. It's got about four people. Sir, are you confident? Yeah. No. Okay, I'm we're going to start in three, two, one. Thank you. Stick up, Entrance into the winner's circle. <laughs> that was lucky, wasn't it? <laughs> I wasted use. Well, I got through to the final with my plane, but I didn't get further up the runway. I got up the runway and land, and mine flew too far. It's too good. Well, it's brightened up a bit. The rain's gone, the sun's coming out. Still a bit windy. The sea state is pretty okay, not too... Still a bit of a swell, but nothing too major. So, after I nearly won the aviation challenge, we met some friends for coffee and went for lunch on Deck 8 again, the American restaurant. And here's what I had a Californian club sandwich and Mel had fish and chips which were okay not proper fish and chips they were fries for a start and then we went round the uh, princess shop so what I'll do, I'll put a few shots of that in $49. I must admit, cruising and doing nothing is quite tiring. And the slight rocking movement of the ship 
combined with a, a seasickness tablet sent me to sleep. So I'm going to fall asleep watching a film, I think. It's four o'clock already, but the clocks are going back tonight, so we gain an hour again, which is good. Mel's not back yet, she's gone shopping. She was hinted for a birthday present. We'll see. Well, good evening. We've had a good day today, a good sea day. We have. Met some friends. We did. Had lunch at the American Diner place. Yes. And that was you, quite were, you did line dancing. I did line dancing. And then fell asleep watching the love boat. You did the planes. Yep. Did you see that? Did the planes, yeah. And it, the love boat is constantly played on our TV because they use princess cruises as yeah. the set for the love boat. They do. They? So it's quite funny watching these old stars. It's such a cheesy program. We saw the Incredible Hulk on there yeah, earlier. Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't the Hulk on the love boat. No. So what we're going to do tonight? An easy night. We haven't got anything planned. Comedian. Comedian. We last yeah. night he was really good, wasn't he? He was. Yeah. So he may have a different act tonight. So we'll see. And uh, just see what the evening brings. <laughs> The no call village idiot there. What are you saying? Nothing. Because we had quite a big lunch today for a change, we're in O'Malley's bar and we're just having starters. You can have three courses for $14.99 or a la carte. And the starters are $5 each. But you get free fries with them. So I've gone for the onion soup. And Mel's gone for a scotch egg. So how was your scotch egg then, Mel? It was okay. It was a little bit dry. I think obviously they're ready made in the Chesitima. Um it's fine, it was fine. I think if you don't want any YouTube, I didn't realise that all the menu here comes with chips with almost everything and the only thing that comes with chips is the full cooked Irish breakfast and um, the soup and the soup, you can still get chips with the soup any markets, complimentary cup fries. So it's not a healthy place to eat, let's put it like that. But um, it was okay, yeah. So we're heading to the karaoke. This bloke's okay, but the one before was terrible, wasn't it? This bloke actually sounds like Woody Nelson, doesn't he? Students to the next club. What's the next club? I'm heading to the next club. From Sergio, I continue to end. Are you enjoying yourself, Mel? What was that? Um, Mel's had a really good time tonight. Well, good morning from Sicily. Messina. 